Mike, look at what I'm reading. Look, listen to this news. Disney to acquire Marvel and $4 billion deal. Walt Disney Company on Monday agreed to buy Marvel Entertainment for $4 billion in the year's biggest news. No! 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 Welcome to another episode of Mad Mad Mike's Rant. This is a special edition. As you can see from the last scene, I attached Robin, our, our case stud. I attached him in the last scene because we just found out today about the deal with Marvel and Disney Channel. Disney. So this, I was really upset when we were driving up to Sandusky today. And I'm going to get everybody's reactions here from what they think of it. And we're going to find out what makes them unhappy about this deal as it does make me unhappy. So, we're going to start off with Tony. Tony, what do you think about this deal with Disney and Marvel? Uh, well, initially I was very surprised. Uh, I, I saw that and I was very shocked. But then I, I kind of calmed myself down and I was like, uh, it may not be so bad. Uh, because, uh, as we all know, uh, Warner Brothers owns uh, DC Comics, and they're doing just fine right now. And um, I think the worst thing that could happen from this deal is that Disney, they're the biggest pimps in the world. They, they pimp out their products like crazy. Uh, they, you know, they stick... Uh, say for example Hannah Montana I mean Hannah Montana you got the TV show you got the movie you got her concerts you got uh, you, you got um, book bags you know video games you got everything with her face on it and I think that'll just uh, flood the market full of Marvel merchandising you know just like they say in, in Spaceball that's what it's, uh, it's all about it's all about the the money and it's all about the money for Marvel too since they're getting four billion dollars which is a lot of money um, but on the other hand you know it could it could be good it could be bad but that's that's the way I see it is they're the worst thing they, that they're gonna do is it's is I mean Marvel has so many products right now already and it's just gonna be a, a million times that you know and uh, and I think, like you said, there's the possibility that the comics and the cartoons might be more kid-friendly, and I think that's the wrong way to go. Um, but yeah, that, those are the two worst things that I think could happen from this deal. That's Robin. my piece. <laughs> Robin? Well, when I was watching TV today, and I will, won't say that I was wasn't watching regular TV. I was watching, unfortunately, I was watching the Kardashian sisters. <laughs> On E, and it scrolled up, Disney buys Marvel for four billion, and I'm like, what the hell? What, you know, the the mouse is going to be pimping our heroes, guys. Yes, yeah, that's what they are. Do, do we want, do we want to be like desensitized to the fact that their merchandising is going to be here and there, I mean, we were up in Sandusky, up at the Walmart, and then there was already all these little kid stuff from all this other stuff. I mean, we're going to be seeing plenty of that. Yes. Plus, they're going to be pimping them out. I mean, I mean, they'll probably have plans for a Marvel Universe theme in Disneyland and Disney World and all the other Disney places. And, and themed restaurants. We're going to be going into freaking restaurant on the X-Men with Wolverine chicken tenders <laughs> on the plate with fries in the middle and the chicken tenders are going to be shaped like claws. Mm -hmm. How how kitty like is that? Wolverine's not for kids. No. We're going to gummy punisher candy. <laughs> I mean, 
I mean, we're going to have skulls and, and machine gun gummies at Disneyland? <laughs> and, oh my god, it, it's... Uh, friendly like Puff Daddy said, it's all about the Benjamin. You know, what's it next? Exactly. What's next? Oh, we're going to have more kid-friendly comic books? When, yeah. After all this time? Like, what's going to happen with with the more mature Marvel Max line? Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. They might want to cancel the Marvel Max line, which would be stupid. Yeah, they were already talking about relaunching the Max series again because Garth Ennis himself mm -hmm. left the series. They were trying out a brand new one. I just bought the graphic of the uh, new guy who just took over. Really great graphic to read. Um, but they're going to relaunch the series again. The thing I'm afraid of is, is that they're going to fuck up my favorite comic book character, The Punisher, Frank Castle. They're going to fuck up probably a lot more of the Max series and the uh, adult series of Marvel Universe. And I'm not very happy about it right now. Mm -hmm. I'm so afraid that the mouse is going to come in and fuck with Frank Castle. And I hope Frank Castle takes the shotgun, blows the little <laughs> fucker's ears right off. Blows You're his little... now, bitch! Boom! <laughs> That's what I want to see. I want to see Frank Castle blow the little fucker's head right off. I don't want fucking Disney touching my goddamn uh, comic books. I don't want them touching my goddamn movies. Because you know what? I'm afraid that there's going to be a PG-13 Punisher movie. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Fuck that shit. Punisher is about violence. Punisher is about killing the bad guys, which is what Frank Castle does. You know, I don't want Mickey Mouse stepping in or fucking Disney stepping in at all and telling me that, oh, we're sorry, we're getting rid of the Punisher for good. Or, you know, we're getting rid of this line of the Punisher. We're sorry, guys, but, you know, we're going to try to make more friendly comic yeah, books and cartoons. Yeah. Yeah, Can you imagine all the crap that they're going to be pushing at the comic book shops now? Uh -huh. They're going to be pushing Spider-Man meets Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Or, or something. I mean, I can just envision Mickey Mouse with a, with a leash in his hand, with a collar on it. There's Aunt May and MJ. And he's, You're mine now, bitch. <laughs> I can just... I don't want to see poor Aunt May like that. No. Like some... Goddamn crack whore that Minnie Mouse is. <laughs> Does that, all I can think of is they're going to be screwing Marvel up really bad. Even though five years from now, after the Avengers movie and one other movie, they'll get distribution rights. You know, all the movie deals are already set as they are. But they're going to be making so much dough off Marvel characters and pimping the pimping the entire universe out. Yeah. You know. What are, what are we going to do? Have a whole roll of serials for Marvel characters? There's Spider-Man, Super Shooter-O's, and Captain America Charms, and... Well, to, to be fair, Marvel has done that before with their characters. Like, I was, I was telling you today when we were in Walmart, I was pointing out the Superhero Squad, squad which they cutesy up their characters, so... Yeah, I have to come back and say Mar Marvel has done this before, uh, but Disney could make it even worse. I mean, look at the shows on Disney Channel. They're the lamest shows out there now. I mean, they're they're just awful. And I would, I would hate to see like a live action Spider Man. You know, uh, who 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 has a, a has a secret identity where he's a singer on stage and, and with a wig on you know or or, <laughs> or, some, or or he joins a boy band or something like that I mean it could go horribly wrong or nothing much can really happen or if or they could take their uh, the comic books and kitty them up which would be which would be really bad too I mean then, then. It, it would be you're right and then I'll go and, and just throw out my perspective on it. Considering that the comic book reader is getting a little bit older, there really isn't nothing to attract younger kids yeah. into comic book shops. Maybe this is a way to like bring a whole new generation in. Which for us is like a bad way. Because I, I can kind of view it as, as saying like going to an ECW show 
and all adults except for two or three 12 year olds and thinking well they're they're not supposed to be here yeah it's not I don't feel comic books as that way but you know this is an industry that you guys there there isn't a younger generation coming out after us to be reading 